Welcome to New Orleans and to the 2016 Collegiate Wind Competition from the Department of Energy. 12 teams from across the United States will be competing over the next couple of days. Everything from tunnel testing, business plan, all fighting to win the championship. We are Arctic Winds and we're from the University of Alaska Fairbanks. I'm the faculty advisor for the Cal Maritime team. I'm from the Universidad de Turabo and I'm from Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico is, you know, is dependent pretty much on fossil fuels. 98% of the activity in Puerto Rico is fossil fuels. The world has a problem with climate change and all, all those problems, so it, even if I only impact 1% more, it's just a, a, little, a little grain of sand. This is an opportunity to have students at the university level to start working on renewables. Wind in particular this is a great opportunity that we have with coming here to the competition, the first time we participate. We focused on making our wind turbine like specifically for Alaska, so like the cold climates that they have, so there's no there's no connection to power. And, and if the if the generator turns off, they don't have any power at all. So we're trying to focus it on being able to supplement that loss of power if it does happen. They put a lot of work in this project. It was something really great to be part of, a great project to be involved with. They learn a tremendous amount. It's multidisciplinary. They learned about um, mechanical and the electrical uh, stuff. It takes it much farther than our senior design takes it. I'd love to see some of them say, you know, wind is cool and it provides, you know, great benefits for our society and our planet. These tunnels can go up to 29 miles per hour during the performance testing, and they only have 30 minutes to install test and remove their turbines from the wind tunnel. The fact that we threw our turbine in there for the first time and the, for our first run and it worked and it worked well and it did what we thought it was going to do and we didn't have to do a retest so that was great. It was really good to go in there and see it it's running and uh, the brake work and everything ran smoothly. That was very exciting. Yes, we've been having some, some trouble with the, with the testing. That, that's part of the deal when you're doing a new, a new engineering product. Um, but this turbine is different from anything, everything else that you see there. And it's something that they develop and it's been involved in using engineering uh, designs. And this is where the electricity is coming from. from. Exactly. The blades are able to change their angle of attack as the turbine operates. We do that in order to control the, the RPM of the turbine. You know, real world wind turbines, this is, this is how they control their, their speed, and so we thought that this would be a way to you know, elevate our design and, and get a little closer to, to real world turbine operation. We had it working perfectly at the beginning of the week, and the electronics have uh, taken a dive on us a little bit, and so we've spent uh, a lot of time over the last week, um, pulling all-nighters, trying to figure things out, and redo things, and up to this moment, our star uh, electrical engineer on the fly, <laughs> mechanical engineer, is uh, is trying to redo parts of the board to uh, to get it to work. They've developed their business plan. They've established their business strategy. There's probably more people here than live in Fairbanks. Like, come to a town of under 30,000 people and then you come here and there's like 2,000 people in one room. It's just uh, it's a little different. It really helps uh, you get used to talking to people and talking to businesses. Uh, don't, I've never seen this many suits in one room, so they come up to you and shake your hands like, what? You know, give them the spiel, give them your, your pitch, like, what do you hear, what are you doing? And it's really good practice so that you can get used to that networking. Consuming more than 40% of the electrical consumption of our municipalities. Cal Maritime had a late game failure on their controller. And so for the last few days, they've been trying to patch it together and fix it. And, and you just got a sense of how hard they're working by how little sleep they were getting. We went back to the hotel and, and you know, tried to write software most of the night and keep things going and so we 
um, sort of miraculously have a chance to to do something in the competition today and it you know it may not be as polished as some other uh, schools right now but it feels like a huge accomplishment just to, to kind of stick with it and battle back from that. So we're like right on the edge man, we're right on the edge! Yeah. <laughs> but it's, it's been fun. These students represent our future and as the energy mix in the United States changes for economic reasons, climate change, or energy diversity, these students are the ones that are going to make it happen. As a group, you know, just, just be really proud of what we've done so far. You know, all the work you've done, all the things they learned, even just coming here. Having uh, kids from other colleges come and say, hey, you know, that's so cool. How did you guys, you know, thought about it? And even if in the time you know, it didn't work as well as we expected before coming to the competition, we're going to take that as a big learning. And, you know, if we have another opportunity in the future, we're going to come back, you know, and, you know, better than what we did this time. Some of these teams are so compelling that you really believe that they're up and running, you know? They truly are. They're meeting with the minister tomorrow. Whatever it is, these guys are, they've sought, thought so much about the role that they're playing and the, the role they want to play in tomorrow's energy future that you believe them. That's what I find particularly fascinating and motivating and inspiring. All right, our overall winner, Penn State University.